into it, right? Yeah. And he, he's got the quantum. He's got <laughs> patent pending on quite a few things. We're going to actually start a tournament series with Mo on Live at the Bike, a consistent <laughs> one. So this is why you got to tune in every episode so you could hear, like, the random obscure yeah. line. <laughs> 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 just just leak a little bit of information every, you know, every episode. <laughs> the first two of the tournaments likely have um, overlay. Oh. Overlay alert. Okay, so Zach has a pat, pat seven, seven if he wants it, but he could also All draw to a six yeah. if he wants, because it is triple it's draw. A bad, it's also a bad seven. It's a bad seven. So, I and mean, e either too. way, Zach is raising here. Yes. Um, right, hashtag good. versatile. <laughs> <laughs> Matt also hashtag versatile. <laughs> Most likely going to ditch the eight, but. Yeah, Matt's, Matt's definitely, did, Matt's, it's a two draw for Matt for sure. Uh, and Frank's got a, a two draw f wheel, so to Frank's going to play, I think. <laughs> and Martin's not in the hand. Martin, is, the Martin is not in the hand. <laughs> he did not. Three <laughs> we are correcting the graphics here. <laughs> Martin did not. Uh, I mean, if he's playing with, that, with his seat open, that would be a pretty good trick. Try to find and reach across and do the one over there. So this could be interesting, actually, because there's a lot of good draws out there. So Zach does break the seven, especially out of position. Yeah, especially multi-way. Mul yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. Multi-way and out of position. And that's uh, 86 for Matt. Uh, nope. Well, Zach is ace, so that's unfortunate for him. It is a blocker, though. That's a blocker, yeah. I mean, Frank's looking for an ace. <laughs> so. But I think they read it five cards, so she needs to do all five. Peace out, Ryan DePaulo. Keep up the good work. So Smaz hasn't. He's gonna draw to an eight. That's it, Frank. You done it. Frank's drawn to a six, and Zach's still drawn to a six. Zach paired his deuce here, so brutal. <laughs> Should have kept a seven. I'm just kidding. <laughs> JK, JK. I guess I always have to explain certain jokes to the audience because it's like <laughs> if they don't play the game, they don't get it. Yeah. So Frank is on a two draw, and a lot of his cards are dead. There's a bet, but we're tr we're gonna try to figure out who. So Zach, uh, so Zach led. He let out, and. Matt's fold, yeah. So Zach's gonna take it down. So Zach may have been bluffing there. You're gonna pair. Yep. Well, well, we that, don't, was, we don't that was from the other draw. Right. That was from the draw be before. Here. But basically, if you pair up, especially your top card like a pair of sixes, you have zero showdown value. So that's where you <laughs> you bluff. Yeah, and if you know if you pair any of your low cards, it's also blockers from other people's you know yeah. holdings. So. A lot of times you have to bet a pair. Like you just have to. You have to bet a pair, but just like the higher the pair is, you cannot win. Yeah. You literally cannot. Yeah. Win. I mean, deuces. You can. I've. You know, I've won some pots with deuces. Right. And even threes. <laughs> Make sure Frank you know, if you so pair hard. the top of your range, you have absolutely no shot of winning. Yeah. Basically, an example of that is like, <laughs> you, like there, it's multi-way. You're just like, oh, this is not getting through, and then your deuces <laughs> somehow hold. So Sean's gonna fold. Your buddy's gonna fold a one. One draw seven. Oh, there. he's my buddy now. Yeah. After you, he folds a hand. You don't one draw with? seven. <laughs> I mean, for him, I thought that would be the nuts, but uh, Jimmy Bluffett asked you, Chait, <laughs> if he has a WSOP bracelet in mixed games. I do not have a WSOP bracelet in mixed games. A um, couple final tables in mixed games, but next summer is bracelet or bust. So we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll be playing a lot of mixed games. Explain that bracelet or bust, as in like. You're just quitting poker. No, no I'm not bracelet. quitting. But the summer, the summer was a bust. If I don't win a bracelet. Oh, okay. So, so you just be sad. I'll be, yeah. You'll be sad. I, I'll be, I'll be disappointed. I won't be sad. Life's too good to be sad. I'll be disappointed. Because I do want to win a bracelet. I mean, Carol, Carol's got one, so I want one too. Are you jealous? Yeah. <laughs> Who isn't? I'm not jealous. <laughs> Come on, you know you want a bracelet. 
I do, but I never play yeah. the World Series. If you look at like Zach Freeman, Mike, Gary, Adelstein, like Andy, we have like no tournaments. Mark Marco actually tried to get Zach to play more tournaments last summer, and Zach still he played a couple, but he played his like normal four or five. It, it, like, what do we have here, Wayne? Do we have anything? We got Zach we have on a R2s. one. We have a whack. Zach on a one. <laughs> whack. Whack. <laughs> whack Freeman. We have him on a wheel draw, and we got Ellie on a one draw six. So these are two pretty big hands, yeah. and Ellie obviously missed. Looks like Zach paired again. It's good. You need to work on your graphics, buddy. Come on. Oh, yeah. Brian, Patrick, you're fired. <laughs> oh, no more show. My bad. There Sorry, guys. <laughs> he warned, or they warned us that there would be some. No, no, I know. It's actually, it really hasn't been that bad. And it's just, yeah, it's fun guessing at these guys, too. It's good that we know these guys so we could, like, you know, make fun of them. And they, yeah. won't, they won't be upset. They will all. not be upset, no. They'll be pointing their fingers back at me like, Wayne, who are you to make fun of anyone? Oh! <laughs> Oops. So why did you decide to watch Cabral on team again? It was just on TV. Oh, nice. I was just. It was just hashtag convenient. Yeah, I was just funneling through the channels, and there it was. He watched the it's entire. It's in its entirety. Uh, pretty close to the beginning, yeah. Wow. What do you think? How has it held up? I mean, it's great. Hon honestly, it's it's really funny because especially with mental health coming to like you right. know the surface. Yeah. Like you can watch that movie in a, a whole different light, right? Because oh, like yeah. Matt Damon is in with this therapist, and it's like he obviously has something going, and you know Robin Williams fixes him rest in peace yeah he fixes him and Matt Damon is allowed to live a healthy life with that girl so presumably Chris <laughs> stealing of the button uh, and makes a nine um, looks like oh we're gonna try to figure out what happened uh, well he had he a one draw he had a one draw wheel draw yeah Chris had a one yeah he had a one draw wheel draw and he's paired as five and Zach probably Zach now has a one draw six draw so looks like they're both drawing one it's anyone's game, but the guy in position does have control. Chris is probably going to keep this, and he's in the wrong game, not do seven triple draw. Yeah, I mean, 7-5, I don't think Chris is breaking here. I mean, Zach actually bet into him. Thank God you said that. I was going to be like, if you said, yeah, I don't think Chris is keeping this, I'd be like, oh, no. I mean, Zach might, yeah, he might raise. That's the other. That's his other option, is, is to... And Zach still has a redraw, which some hands don't have redraws, which is, you know, why you keep as many low cards as possible. So Zach's probably going to call here and break his nine, or he's going to fold. He he's definitely not call, you know, he's not call padding. He's either going to call break or fold. But he knows Claude's a very capable player, so he might think Claude's just messing around here. Ooh, <laughs> he's reaching for, I saw eight chips in his hand. Oh, oh he so folds. A fold, yeah. yeah. Zach, you were drawing live, because sometimes you are drawing dead. Because <laughs> for Chris to raise, potentially he could have something like a 6-4 made, and then even if Zach breaks the 9, but, be drawing But dead. Chris could also, there's one draw left, so in position, Chris could also be just yeah, padding there, right. you know, Pat Snowing. Yeah. And if Zach makes anything, you know, pairs or makes a queen or worse, he probably is going to have trouble calling. It's funny, I was, I was in the mixed game outside, like with Barry Greenstein, Mark Newhouse. You love dropping Barry Greenstein's name, huh? Yeah, because he's here all the time. In, no, because the funny thing Great is... Great golfer. He's a really good golfer. See, now you're no, name dropping no. his golfing skills. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I name drop him a lot because, like, he always has funny comments, like, during or after the hand or something. People don't realize how funny Barry is. Oh, he's hilarious, yeah. He's, in he's got that East Coast kind of dry sense of humor. <laughs> But, like, he says really funny things. Oh, yeah, that's, again, why I'm name dropping. Because <laughs> there's a, like, there's one draw left in Ace to Five. I have a seven six five. I know it's no good. So it goes bet into me, call, and I raise. And the, the original better tanks for a long time and falls. How gangster are you? That's so gangster. The funny thing is uh, Barry and Mark Newhouse know I do this stuff all the time. And... And because they know me, I can't get away with it with them. <laughs> but uh, Mark Newhouse was there, and um, it, uh, there was a fold. The guy drew one. I stood, stood pat. And when I tabled my hand, the first guy's like, what the f And Barry just, like, cold looked and even say a word. And I'm like, whoop, 
thanks Barry for not telling him about me. And he's like, you're one of the good guys. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him about you for the life of me. <laughs> so we're back to Badoogie. Back to Badoogie. And we have Zach Friedman with a... Freeman. 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 Yeah. Freeman. Freeman? Freeman. Freeman. I was thinking Adam Friedman. Yeah. Sometimes or Prom Friedman. Like <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at all this name drop you were doing. I know. Okay. Multi-way Badoogie hands, and they're gonna do a Badoogie bomb pot later, which is <laughs> that's just like nuts. really. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Bomb Craig pots. Teaching Craig how to use his microphone. Yeah. Not very technological. <laughs> very not not very technologically sound. That's for so sure. So this is what happens with Badoogie that Craig and I and all these players know. He gets multi-white, and whoever gets lucky <laughs> gets the yeah. biggest pot in the universe. Yeah, it turns into a pick-me dealer. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of snowing you can do here, really, five-way. Um, and the pot, these are the pots that get really big, because you just got people piling in bets. Groove Poker says, multi-way Badoogie equals cringe. <laughs> yeah. So, Smaz actually made a 10. He has, uh, he has the best hand here with a uh, 10 Badoogie. And I don't doesn't look like anyone else currently has a Badoogie. There's a lot of black cards out there. This is like bat call 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 call. <laughs> yeah, crazy. and Smaz is sitting on a, t on a ten. Yeah. Well, it says Smaz drew one. The, so Matt, even though he has a ten, which is still it's a Badoogie, so it's still decent. When you're when people are drawing four way, they're like drawing to the nuts, but they also have each other's cards. Yeah, there we go. He stands. He, they corrected. He stood pat. So everyone's drawing one. So Matt's ten has to hold up against four draws here. <laughs> GL, <laughs> GLHF. This is this is where you just pat and pray. This yeah. is the fun part of the game. The rest is in God's hands. It's. <laughs> It's always like check, 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 and the last guy bets, and you just like yeah. So Matt, close your eyes. You know, Matt does a smart call. thing. It's it's a check call if anything. Yeah. Um, if anything, if anyone makes a better hand behind him, it's just a check call. But you can't lead into four people. Yeah. And Matt's actually he's actually going to end up winning with his ten. Oh, Everyone yeah. else missed. This is what I ended with. You this saw that correctly. With. Plus six thousand six hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Badugi. <laughs> one of one of the bigger pots of the uh, non non cap pots of the day. Like one of the bigger limit pots of the day. Ben Whitting says, what if WTF is Badoogie? It's a low draw game. You start with four cards. You're looking for ace, two, three, four, all different suits. If you have a pair or the same suit, then that additional card does not count. You have a one less hand. So you have ace, deuce, three, three. You have a three card ace, deuce, three. There's actually a version where that's, but we won't we won't talk about that. That's uh, you know that's more too that's too complicated. Yeah. Where where the the pair does count as a Badoogie, but that's like a newer version of Badoogie. It's funny with the evolution I have is like I just keep repeating a lot of the same things over and over because it's the fundamentals of the game. So I just <laughs> yeah, like I don't even know what advanced things are anymore. <laughs> I think there's like four or five versions of Badoogie now. Oh really? There's like high Badoogie. Okay. Yeah, there's. I don't know. I only know the one. Does Badesi okay, count? I understand. I okay, I understand. No, I mean no. just just straight Badugi. Like there's oh, like okay. four or five versions just oh. of straight Badugi. Uh, so Claude has a Jack here. It looks like a Jack Badugi, which is a nice starting hand, and he's going to raise with it. Zach actually three bets. He has a Jack Badugi as well. Wow. Yeah. This is ac actually this is going to be don't an see this often. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting game of cat and mouse. Wow. Chris four bets. Yeah. Zach calls. And Zach really doesn't have much to break into. I mean, yeah. he can break to a 10, but he's probably just going to... He might give this up later after if he's convinced that Chris has... So Chris checks, and Zach's oh, going to wow. take the opportunity to bet. Chris is going to turn into a check call. It's just a game of cat and mouse at this point. <laughs> yep, Zach's so giving up. They might shut it down. I mean, Chris could technically break into a seven, but um, his jacks. He's 
And Chris probably thinks he's good. And Zach's probably giving up. Yeah. yeah Unfortunate. So, so they got they, yeah, they got down to the they it's, got down to showdown. It's very quote quote common when you have a Jack Badugi, somebody wakes up or out know, the better Badugi or out draws you, but having a Jack versus a Jack, that's yeah. actually rare. And Chris probably would have pat and prayed, but um you know, Zach could have put him in a, a little bit of a weird spot if he continued with his aggression because Chris did have a, a hand he could have broken into with the seven. Right. But, I mean, Jack, uh, Pat Jack's heads up's pretty strong. There are no stud games. Our software does not allow. Okay, so Chris has a... Two, two card, but a really good two card. So the, Chris, Chris the, is going to raise here. Those are the hands you like stare at. Like, what do I, what do I have? Two, three, two, two. Because he has the two four blockers too. So those are those yeah. are two good cards to pitch. Right. So he's drawing to the best Badugi, and he has two blockers on other people's Badugis, which is a perfectly good hand to, to start with. The other thing about playing limit games, like do seven Badugi or limit hold them versus the big bet games is big bet games oftentimes especially no one hold them you're just like the pots are usually small until something explodes whereas like the limit games is more consistent action but in no limit televised it's better for televised poker because you know the clickbait hands the big pot hands are massive well and people love max pain too right they yeah. like to everyone likes to watch a train wreck so right. when you have aces versus you know threes <laughs> and then you see a three flop and you see the guy's oh, face snap. you know yeah, yeah. you see the one guy in agony and then the other guy's just high five in his rail and fist pumping but exactly the whole thing <laughs> of why no limit holdem's good for television is makes it annoying to play <laughs> it's fun to watch the guy get set it on tv it's not fun when it happens to you <laughs> So Chris raised with a three card six here, which is a, a pretty a good jack. starting hand. Hmm? Oh, he jack. does have a jack. He has a pat jack. You're right. Hearts and diamonds. My, I'm getting old. My sight's going. <laughs> I, I've misread my hand like a couple times in the last like few years. So I just table it in. I don't even care. Like people know how I. I mean, I don't know how people know how I play, but like, I just don't care anymore. Like, I don't want to misread my hand and forfeit the pot <laughs> over giving away some information. I was so tired one time on live with Mike. I had aces up and I won the hand, but I thought my was hold'em. Yeah, it was limit hold'em. Oh. Like I table, like luckily I tabled my hand because like you know I, I thought my opponent had a wheel, but he had a lower two pair, but I had aces up and thankfully you know <laughs> I tabled my hand and there, got yeah, the pot. There you go. You're like, oh, look at this. Yeah. I, li I, I don't even, like, do it like that. I just, like, flip my cards over now. It was, it's like a reverse slow roll, right? When you yeah. when you table your hand, you don't even know what you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, I won the pot. And the other guy's like... It's literally oh. happened um, quite that? a few times in the last few years. So Ellie has a three-card nine here. Um, Chris has a three-card jack. Two. Yeah, but he's probably going to draw two. Uh, yeah, yeah, Chris is gonna pitch the king and the jack, <coughs> and okay. definitely multi-way Sean. And Sean's gonna pitch. Yep. So unfortunately, Sean did not improve. But he that's that's the best. Uh, but it's the best way not to improve because yeah. he takes two he takes two cards away from two key cards out of the you know out of the deck. What's up, Cindy Wang? Yeah, OMG! It's two hundred, four hundred mixed games. They're so rich. Yeah, you guys have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> These guys are balling out of control. So Sean bet here, so he must have improved. And Claude's got a one card, f uh, one draw five now. Yeah, so Sean did improve to a, uh, well, well, the graphic hasn't updated yet. Yeah. Sean's pat. Sean's so pat. He so has <laughs> at minimum a queen. <laughs> or a snow. Either or one. snow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> In this case, I'm going to guess that Sean is not snowing. So Claude has a pair of three. So he's a three card five. Three card so five, he can yeah. only call if he thinks Sean's snowing. Right. And <laughs> there's but Sean Claude has in the tank. Yeah. And these guys know each other so well. It's just like, or I, I presume they do. 
There's nothing better than a good hero call. Right. Come on, Claude. We just want to see there the it cards. Is. There it is. And Chris is going to win this with a three-card five, apparently. Unless Did uh, he snow? Oh, wow. He did snow with the aces. Wow. Chris, right. Claude, Nikki. I am never sitting with him. What a <laughs> hero. Key. Oh, my God. So Sean made a good play snowing there, and Chris made an even better call. Yeah. So that is, that's high-level Badoogie there. <laughs> yeah, you this got, is... You got to see everything. You got to see...